The witch trials of the 16th and 17th centuries was one of the most horrific periods in Scottish history. The Witchcraft Act of 1563 was in force for 173 years with deadly consequences. It made the practice of witchcraft and the consulting of witches a capital offence, punishable by death. In Scotland, East Lothian, or Haddingtonshire as it was then known, was the top witch hunting county. And here in Dunbar, the townhouse played its part, actively pursuing and condemning those accused of consorting with the devil. One of the last witch trials to take place in Dunbar was that of Catherine McTaggart. She was arrested and imprisoned in the townhouse jail in May of 1688. The charge? Demonic behaviour and causing death and sickness to people and animals. In total she faced 27 charges and the case against her was strong with three key types of evidence. One was a confession. This was usually obtained under torture which often ranged from sleep deprivation to more barbaric means such as thumbscrews and whipping. After five days in the townhouse jail, Catherine confessed to a pact with the devil. Another key piece of evidence was the devil's mark. And it was widely believed that those who entered a pact with the devil bore his mark, either a visible blemish, what we would call a birthmark, or an insensitive spot. Catherine, it was said, had an insensitive spot. A witch pricker had inserted a long pin into her shoulder and she felt no pain. More damning evidence came by way of neighbours' testimony and locals described how contact with Catherine had resulted in illness and even death befalling them. For example, it was said she'd placed a bonnet on a child's head the wrong way. He later died. She offered one man bread and cheese. He ate some. Then his wife took ill and died four days later. In all, 46 witnesses testified against Catherine. The verdict? Guilty. Catherine McTaggart, spouse to William Brown, weaver in Dunbar, now prisoner within the tall bit of Dunbar, you're guilty of the crimes of witchcraft. You ought to be punished with the pains of death and confiscations of movables to the terror and examples of others to commit the like in time coming. So what of Catherine's fate? Well, unfortunately, no record exists of what happened to Catherine after she was found guilty, but the verdict was likely to have assured her execution. Nearly 4,000 people were convicted of witchcraft across Scotland. And in the cases where the outcome of the trial is known, the majority were strangled at the stake and their dead body burned. Some were executed by beheading, whilst others met their fate at the gallows. In 2022, the Scottish Government and the Church of Scotland made formal apologies for the torture and execution of people accused of witchcraft in Scotland hundreds of years ago. Those who met this fate were ordinary people like you or I.